All right, guys, I decided to answer this YouTube question in a vlog video because it's just easier. So uh, Nick Hastead said, great vlog as always. Thank you, Nick. I am a beginner programmer at the ripe age of 58, and I was wondering if there would be work for people of my advanced years. I believe so. I think it depends on the type of programming that you do. And this is something you got to do in terms of research in your geographical area, see what's out there, see what people are doing in terms of coding. And I'm not going to lie, at 58, there's going to be uh, certain options that won't be available to you. Like I would imagine startups would probably not want a 58 year old beginner, but you probably have skills in another, in another profession that might be uh, relevant. So for example, I'm just using this as an example. If you were an accountant and by profession or by trade and then you learn how to program, then you'd probably be very valuable for companies who are writing software for accounting firms. You get the idea because you have what they call domain knowledge. So that's something to consider. So yeah, there is going to be work. You're just going to have to uh, figure out what niche would make sense for you. Um, we continue. I initially started with Python. It's a great starter language, as I've written and well, vlogged about rather in several videos. Python is very popular in education because the syntax, the code, the Python code is very readable. It reads like English, especially when you compare it to languages like PHP or uh, Java as examples. Let me continue. But what you say in this video makes a lot of sense to me. The web is all pervasive now, so learning the three core languages, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, seems the way to go. I do like Python a lot, though. And I had to play with the uh, sizing of the window because Firefox is a real buggy browser. Anyway, so let me continue. I do like Python a lot, though. The coding is much easier to learn. Yeah, yeah, Python is very easy to learn compared to, say, uh, JavaScript or Java or... PHP. Uh, let me continue. Would you advocate learning Python alongside the other three as I find myself coding stuff up in Python first, i.e. prototype-like, and then coding in JavaScript subsequently? Do you think this is a good plan for a novice? Well, Python's use case is, is quite a bit different in most of the time than CSS, HTML, JavaScript. Python is uh, used in server-side coding. Yes, they do have a web framework, Django and Flask. They have you know, two web frameworks. But uh, Python is used a lot in AI programming, is used a lot in server automation, used a lot in computation, like in sciences for uh, report generation, number crunching. Whereas CSS, HTML, JavaScript are not. CSS, JavaScript are strictly web languages, and JavaScript recently with projects like Node have been pushed to server-side coding to, to compete with things like PHP, Java, and Python, you know, when you think about Python, Django. But you could still be learning Python at the same time as you're learning the other languages because Python and, and, and JavaScript are, are both object-oriented and, well, they do share object-oriented uh, techniques and principles, but they are very different as well. You could learn concept with Python and then apply those concepts in JavaScript, although the implementation, the way you do it in JavaScript, generally speaking, is a little bit more uh, a little bit more difficult because of the nature of JavaScript code, JavaScript syntax. So yeah, you could learn Python alongside, uh, but I don't see yourself prototyping in Python and then coding in JavaScript, with some exception, maybe games, if you're creating games and stuff. It might be quicker to prototype them in Python because you got packages like... Uh, Pygame and stuff, but modules like Pygame rather than Python that make creating games easy. But then again, I'm sure these things are ex exist in JavaScript. I haven't looked recently at any JavaScript gaming engines, but JavaScript could be used quite a bit for writing games as well in web browsers. I hope this answers the question.